Hi guys, the rent slash Lawrence Wayne here, and after months of waiting and months of begging my parents, I finally have the LOS pots here, the new LOS pots. And it's not just LOS pots actually, it's also for uh, the robots and for another project which I will show you during the unboxing. Now the whole point of an unboxing video is that I don't open it until it's on camera, so not much here is planned. I also got quite excited. My hands have to shiver a lot, because I've been waiting for months for this. It's also really expensive, actually, if I have to open this. I to pay 500 Rand, which is like 40 50 dollars import tax or something, because Apparently, the South African government does not like high-tech electronics. I probably thought I could pull the bomb with it or something. If I make the bomb, this is fancy equipment. So yes, here's the spark fun box, a rather large one. I did come slightly prepared. And more package matter. Inside this packaging material is yeah, even more packaging material. Inside that is all my computers. Let's take this out. How am I going to take this out of here? Let's just gently empty it open. That on the side. Put it up later. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Ah, yes. These are spare boards, scrap boards. They're selling them really cheap. So I just bought like 10 of them. I was just wondering what these are. It's great for soldering practice and stuff. Let's see. Probably can't see it that well. I'll take a few hearts. Spark Fun's traditional colouring is red. This was like a random pick, gamble. Seems to be an Uber tracker, which is actually a rather expensive part. It's quite damaged in some of the pieces now. These are all failed boards, of course. Or oh, something went wrong with them. But they could still be used for stuff, like soldering practice. Like that. Perfectly good breakout. Oh, but probably something wrong with it. Yeah, the silk screen's off. But the electronics would still work. These are arcade buttons for the new LOS control system. Let's see. Let's just mix it. I have two blue ones as well. So that would make for a much awesome control system. Up down at center, there'll still be a keyboard. This is all power supply related. Not much to it. Just power jacks and power converters and whatnot. These are use super useful probes. I didn't expect the alligator clips to be this big. But you plug these into a multimeter, which I don't have with me right now, and then you just flip them on, like which is really handy for an ammeter or something. Instead of holding probes to the project you're measuring voltages from. Also works with this oscilloscope. And these are two design boards, three. We just put stuff on them. They're very useful. Who knows what I can use that for? 
should be full of these mini boards. Same thing. I need to remember to keep this in front of the camera. These are all random little pots that I also bought. Headers, breakout, little display that I made last minute, ordered last minute. Also for the components. A servo for the robot. It basically moves to a particular angle. This is an anti stucky bag containing something very important. The graphics processor. Apparently this is what caused my extra fifty dollar bill. Just check it from ground again. Don't put an anti static bag for nothing. It's even smaller than I thought. Look at that. That is Alonis' new GPU. I was expecting these headers to actually come on the board. But, yeah, whatever. Let's draw a kit. And, shit expensive, but <laughs> yes. I need to put this in a special room. Little wires, they don't need much explanation, do they? Little male headers, pins on the one side, and female headers on the other side. Okay, not much to that. What are these? Oh, XPs. These little things are wireless controller things. <laughs> things, just. They are about as small as I expected, because I've seen an XP socket before. You basically, it's like two-way radios. Might also cause some problems in some countries. But yes, they communicate with each other. This one, you can talk to this one, this one, they are like interconnected. This will be used so that I can interconnect LOS and my robots and other projects together. One for each. Also, be able to go LOS robot computer, so I can see what's happening, what's kind of like debugging. It could be LOS, LOS computer, LOS robot, LOS. You can interconnect anything, and all at the same time. These are actually pretty expensive devices. And these are little cute mini speaker things. Buzzers. I don't need to explain what they're used for. These hold the XP, there are only two of them because I already have an XP socket from the robot. It comes with a built in one for my shield. I'm not needing to go into my definition there. And. Well, that looks like almost everything except for that last box. Maybe I should show you all the little parts in here. There is one interesting part in here. This teeny tiny board is a magnetometer, which fancy word for electronic compass. Checks which direction magnetic north is. In X, Y, and Z. So it's three dimensional. It's very useful for my robot, so I can make it do 90 degree turns that are actually 90 degrees for once you know it just keeps turning until it notices that the magnetic north has moved by 90 degrees exactly and then it stops so now we can move on to um, show you or tell you what my secret project is it's mostly explained in this box
There should be, if this is the right box. Yeah, that's the right box. In here, um, see, guys, no preparation at all. Oh, I didn't get enough, did I? This here is the display for Overtime. Overtime is a watch I'm going to be building. It's going to be a prototype, so it's going to use a rather amount, large amount of space. It probably won't even fit on your wrist. But it'll be able to you know, control your television, remote control TV, communicate with LOS via these XPs. Um, it will have games built on it, it will have a calculator, all those cool little things you've always wanted your operating system to do, or your watch to do. Comes a little bag of parts, a screen, and that looks like everything. Oh, okay. Is there still this? Just a board of stickers. Spark for no guns and well yeah and RTFM read the full manual that's what it's that's for mm. trying to keep this video age appropriate here and um, that's it I guess you can go through what these boards are same thing same thing same thing same thing. Look, oh, this one's different. Uber board, version 2. Yeah, these things usually cost so much. Of course, there's probably something wrong with them. But, you know, a little wire or two. We'll fix it. And well, look at that. They're all still connected together. It's an accelerometer breakout. This. An alarm clock. Alarm clock. Put a screen there, if only I had one. Controller there, buzzer, snooze, up down alarm. Bunch of components. It's another one of those. And this is a OLED character. It's a screen. Well, there doesn't seem to be much wrong with it. Of course, until I put it together. But yeah, that's that's all. I think I did check these out. So thanks for watching. There will be lots of LOS videos now. After this. Hopefully. I'm still writing exams though. So that might kind of slow down the videos. Oh, it's a postcard too. But yeah, I'll be building this watch and um, maybe making a separate videos for it as well. Well, I will be making separate videos for it as well. Be building a new robot, which. Oh. I forgot to tell you that. I have this, I got a new phone now. An Android phone, and I found this cool app, well I found many cool applications. But one of those cool applications was IP Webcam. It just streams the video from the camera onto the internet. Where you can like view it in your browser, or VLC, because it like streams video. And one of the things that I've always wanted to do, to do as a kid was 
have a remote controlled car with a camera attached to it that I could like see and then drive the car remotely. Sorry, this overwrap is too hard to resist. And, well, we don't have any working remote controlled cars anymore, so I'll build my own robot that will also be remote controlled. It will be assisted remote control, so it can autopilot a few things, such as prevent itself from driving into walls, kind of thing. And, yeah. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Oh, one last final thing. Sorry. I didn't prepare this at all. I can't really release videos for every little detail of things. Because, for example, the GPU we have here. I can't really release a video on every discovery I'm making this GPU because I have never used this board before. Every new discovery is probably going to be pretty awesome with this thing. Just have a look at it. Warranty void if removed. This thing has a warranty. Awesome. Um, what was I saying? Alright, I can't release an update on every little thing I do. So, instead you can follow me on Twitter. There will be an annotation around about this part of the video. Maybe even at the beginning, it'll probably also be in the description. That you can follow me on Twitter. It's for any little updates, because I'm recording a video for every little thing I'm doing. But it can't. So I'll be updating my Twitter more often instead. This was suggested by Xeor Aeomorpher. So thank him. And thanks for watching. I hope you will like the LOS videos um, over time, which by the way is the watch thing, and Robot, well, Robot 2 videos coming in the near future, hopefully near. Also, ah, oh man, <laughs> saying also way too many times. Last, 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 last thing, there is one more box of LOS parts coming with the electronical components. Bought from a different store, and I wonder if this is supposed to have a remove on it because it feels so soft. Yeah, so there will be one more video with small little components, which are required for all three of them actually, all three projects. So that's it. Comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and bye.